Hello and welcome to Basingstoke, where the Swans are in action for a very big league clash today against Basingstoke, who also sit in the playoff places. This is probably our biggest game to date this season, I would say, certainly in terms of significance, and it's going to be a tough one, Tom. Yeah, it really is. And sometimes when we go into these games, you feel you kind of know how it's going to go. With this one, I've got absolutely no idea yeah. whatsoever. Of course, it's an unchanged 11 yeah. from last week against Guernsey, but anything can happen in this game, and of course, it could be a six-pointer because we're both up there. Yeah, and I think it's one of those where the Swans will be looking to to snap that win-lose, win-lose streak. I think it's 11 straight games <laughs> of uh, win-loss in the league. Uh, and this is certainly going to be a tough one with Basingstoke, as I said, up there in the league as well. Set to be an exciting one. Time for today's lineups. The first unchanged lineup of the season for the Swans. Liam Allen in goal as usual. Harry Mills and Dominic Ogan at fullbacks with a centre-back pairing of Mitchell Goff and Joe Hicks. A midfield three of Malik Morris, Alex Kelly and Arson Oikai. Palace Francis on the left today. Jordan Adiemi down the middle and Torin Roberts also on the wing. On the bench, Charlie Nicholas, Eddie Simon, Brian Garzan, Jude Malloy and Joe Prattley-Jones. Don plays as Jordan. Malik, lovely touch there. It's nice from the Swans. Tom Hogan can look for a switch of play here. He's got Palace over the other side. He finds Jordan. Jordan back to Tom. Lovely exchange. Go on, Tom. Tom running through and has a oh. strike with a shanked. And really well worked. Yeah, like. Out into the Swans fans. But that was a lovely bit of interplay between Jordan and Dom there. It was so fluid. To set Dom away to have a shot, but he couldn't quite connect. And it's the first real chance of the game, I would say. Going for it, really, today. Two sides that will both fancy their chances. Here we go. This is, this is Palace Francis on the ball. Always a danger. Palace oh, with it magic. now, driving at the Beijing Stoke defence. Gets past the man. He did look Malik offside. He did look offside. offside. It is a nice finish, though. <laughs> he was a yard or two offside there. But uh, again, the Swans. Looking dangerous with the dribbling of Palace Francis through the Beijing Stoke yeah. defence, I think. Swan's team are better. In by Malik Morris. Towards Mitchell Goff who wins the header, but it's blocked on the line and picked up by Paul Strudley. Beijing Stoke keep the ball. It's well played by them. It's Captain Simon Dunn driving. Michael Atkinson finds That's a good turn. their number That's a good seven, turn. and it's a oh, great save from Liam Allen. Great save from Liam Allen. Yeah, I don't know. The Swans aren't really finding the space they were finding early on. No, oh. really. it's, it's given away by Malik. Advantage to Basing Stoke. They're on the edge of the box here. A chance to score, and it's a oh. shot towards the goal that went just over the bar. Lovely turn by Torin Roberts. Jinking in and out, finds Alex Kelly. The Swans with a few men in the box. Malik Morris with a turn and he'll go for a strike. And uh, Paul Strudley, not too bothered by that one. Bit of a sighter there from Malik. Nice ball out wide. Good touch, yeah. Bradley Wilson has a shot. Straight into the hands of Liam Allen. Yeah, Jordan Jordan has, has sort of struggled to get on the ball in this game, I think. Yeah, Mills crossed to Palace Francis. He loves to drive at defenders. Back to Millsy. Malik has Jordan there. This is a good chance for the Swans. Jordan has a bit of room. Torin is inside the box here. He curls one. Oh, what a oh, goal! What a goal to Torin Roberts. Roberts! That is absolutely sensational. And the celebration to go with it as well. It's a moment of magic from the Swans at Basingstoke. And we have the lead after 35 minutes. Unbelievable what a finish. goal from Torin Roberts. I mean, I thought he was going to take a touch. My goodness me. He did something that no one else saw. And he's, he's given Palace Francis a run for his money with that goal last week. <laughs> Very strong in the air from Hicks. And Malik looking for Palace here. It was a great ball. <laughs> you don't know balls up. I'm not used to something 
Palace here, trying to dazzle the fullback. He is past him, he's broken into the box. He's gonna set it back and Malik, oh, he skies it. Skies it. Gutted. The Swans have to be resolute here. Uh, Basing a bit of space picked up. Oh, and Liam comfortable. Liam. Really nice. Come on, man. Keep going. This wall in defence today has been top notch so far. What a Mitch. Oh, brilliant ball from Arson there. Can the Malik slip? Right. It's gone for the shot. He has shot. Oh, oh it's a post. Oh, no. That's so close. Oh. What a hit from Malik. You couldn't come any closer to scoring. Right inside of the post, and that could have been 2-0. Top scorer, Bradley Wilson. Top scorer in the league. Steps up. Get there, boys. And it's over the bar. Very similar to, sim similar to Rashford in the, in the Euros. I mean, we'll take it. Come on, Bradley. He's just offering him space to run, like. Oi. He is a good player, though, that number seven, isn't he? Swans need to sort of. Uh, he's, a, he's their main threat. Hello, oh, he's on side! Palace is through. He's on! Oh. He is extremely wide, but he's Palace coming inside. Cut inside. Can he lay it off to Malik? Can he get a shot away? Palace! Oh, he's oh, hit the side netting. Save? Oh, it's not. Near an injury time. The Swans holding on for a 1-0. It's a good corner, but it's, it's a brilliant header. Picks. But a dangerous not over yet. Francis has got to jump higher. He's got to challenge for that. Yeah, surely. I mean, they, they gave him so much time there to hit the ball. And Alex has won it. Kelly. Malik is it Malik? It yeah. To Torin. And that's it, that's full time. And the Swans with a brilliant victory away at a very, very strong Basingstoke. 1-0. And that's the three points secured. It's a huge victory, isn't it? And what a game we fought until the end. You had to fight. There was a lot of interesting bits of play in that. It's Two teams are really up for it. It's, an, it's a clean sheet, and it's a game that puts the Swans second in the table. Phenomenal. We'll see you next week. Here with the manager, Scott Harris, following a very good 1-0 win away to Basingstoke and a crucial six-pointer. Now, games are not often settled with goals like that, and I'm sure that wasn't in the game plan, but how good was that to, to win like that? Yeah, brilliant goal. Brilliant goal. Um, <clears throat> it's funny, actually. I don't know what minute the goal was scored in, um, but up until that point, to my knowledge, maybe about half hour in, something like that, we'd sort of circulated their box a number of times without a cross or a shot to have come from it. Um, and finally, someone worked themselves the opportunity to be able to get one off. And Tours, I don't know if it was bar down, down off the crossbar, cross maybe, in, yeah. yeah. Uh, couldn't get more precise. Uh, funnily enough, he's actually been doing that a lot in training lately, like mm. as in he's, he has been lethal with finishing. And since he's gone back out wide, uh, what's that, maybe three or four games now, um, he's, he's looked a real threat from, from goal scoring uh, situations. And mm. yeah, great goal. Great goal to win a, to win a big game. Um, you'd always rather games like this be decided with something like that rather than, you know, a dubious decision or, you know, a scrappy own goal or something. You know, it's, yeah. uh, it's, it was fitting because it was a good football match today. Mm. Very good game. Uh, Basingstoke, not that we didn't know this anyway, but they're a good team. You now we've seen them up close. Um, they'll take some beating every week, that's for sure. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so it's a good feeling to win it. And, and with a goal like that, like you say, yeah, that's... It's a, good, it's a good one. Yeah, and the one thing we're seeing a lot more, particularly over recent weeks, is goals from range or goals that we weren't scoring two or three months ago. We obviously saw Palaces last week. We've seen yeah. Malik do it twice and hit the post again today. Yeah. Is that something you're trying to encourage more, just shooting when we have the chance and range and just trying to unlock something that we wouldn't yeah. normally do? Well, the, the thing that we that we tend to face, maybe not maybe not quite so much today because Basingstoke a little bit more maybe ambitious with their, with their style of play than some of the other teams that, that we played. Um, you, you tend to have to try and work shots from the edge of the box against teams when there's packed defences because you know getting in behind people is a little bit you know less um, less easy, a little bit more difficult, should I say? Um, and yeah, it is something that we that we look for um, is being able to work opportunities to get the ball out of our feet to hit strikes from that sort of range. But 
yeah, I think these things go in little patches. They'll go in for you, and then you might go a while without getting one. Um, yeah. It's a bit like the penalty situation. We, we don't seem to get them yeah. anymore. Uh, we, we had a we had a, a spell for a long time. We just could not stop getting them. Now we yeah. can't get them for love nor money, it seems. But yeah, no, it's, um, great goal. Yeah. Great goal. Finally, two big games now before the new year. We've got Carsholton on Monday night, a quick turnaround for that, and then mm. another Monday game on Boxing Day against Leatherhead. Can we potentially expect to see a bit of a rotated side on Monday, given the 48-hour um, turnaround? Yeah, well, there's, a, there's a couple of people that um, that have been particularly unlucky not to play maybe in the last couple of games, Charlie Nicholas being one of them. Um, he'll definitely play on Monday. Um, but as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't really weaken us. Do you know what yeah. I mean? It, it, that's the sort of change where you can do it from a, from a luxury point of view, where the fact that we have everybody fit and available at the moment, which touch wood lasts a bit longer than it usually does. I mean... On that subject, you might have noticed John Gilbert wasn't here today. He called up this morning with uh, virus, sickness bug. So, And uh, he's not one to normally miss a game no, either when no, he's fit. No, he's, so. he's just come back from the injury yeah. and now he's got this. But hopefully we might see him come back if uh, on Monday if, if he's OK after his, his bug. Um, maybe one or two more, yeah. But, you know, make no mistake, we, we want to go as far as we can in that competition. Mm. Uh, We've never been one to complain about sort of uh, overload with games. We want to we want to go as far as we can in all these competitions because it's it's just great for the club, you know. Yeah. It, like we had a couple of games last year, like Dawkins in the Surrey Senior, I refer to. Well, we got Sutton United in January as well, yeah. a trip to a, a league yeah. side. So, and, and if we were to if we not looking ahead too far, but if we were to get through the Car Shorten game, we've got what I would consider a great tie waiting for us in the next round with either Chatham or Seven Oaks, yeah. a couple of really good football teams. Uh, which, yeah, we love playing those games. So, mm. yeah, let's go and see. Yeah, cheers, Scott. Cheers, mate. Uh, here with our Hagley West man, the match, Alex Kelly, after that 1-0 win against Basingstoke. Now, again, I, I said to Scott, it wasn't a win that was really won with a goal that you would plan, but how good was that from your point of view to see that goal go in from Torin? Yeah, to be fair to Torin, it's a great goal, probably one of the goals of the season. Um, but, yeah, just a great result. We've been, I think we've been due one of these 1-0 wins away from home. So uh, sometimes it might not be the prettiest game, but I did actually feel we played some of our best football today. It was probably one of the best games of the season to be involved in. Um, and yeah, moment of magic from Tours, but I think everyone today was, was pretty much 10 out of 10. You could have given man the match to anyone. So yeah, due a win like this, and it's just great to carry on um, into Monday. Yeah, and we finally snapped that losing streak away from home as well. How good is it to get a win away from home, particularly at a place like this against yeah. a team as strong as Basingstoke? Yeah, yeah, I mean, we've spoken about it, like getting results away from home, but it was a big game today. Probably, I think we might have been the only game on in the league. Um, so everyone's kind of watching us. Um, so yeah, we, it was great to get a result here. Big game, loads of people. Um, and yeah, again, hopefully we can just carry this form in uh, into the next home and away game and just keep the keep the winning streak up. Yeah, finally, two more games before Christmas against Carl Schultz on a Monday night and then Leatherhead the following Monday on Boxing Day. Mm -hmm. How are you shaping up or how are the team feeling about going into those two games? Yeah, I think, well, we're excited. I mean, we were supposed to be uh, having our Christmas due tomorrow, but that's been yeah. cancelled, obviously, because <laughs> of the game on Monday. Yeah. But um, yeah, big game against Carl Schultz and they're obviously a good side, played mm -hmm. against them a few times. Um, and yeah, Leatherhead Boxing Day is going to be massive. So, I mean, if we can get two wins uh, before the end of the new year, yeah. I think we can go into 2023 um, in a really good place and, and hopefully kick on. Yeah, the Swans are up to second in the table, just one point off the top behind Northwood ahead of Boxing Day's clash at home to Leatherhead. We'll see you guys then.